I was asked this morning about uh, being a virtual assistant. Can a foreigner do it and do it a little bit more than Filipinos? Well, I'll tell you now, you don't need to be doing it that low anyway. Um, what people want is quality. Um, if you imagine a company I work for at the moment has reduced its space in London significantly. Um, it's getting rid of a lot of properties. It's, it's not renewed leases on some very large buildings because they've gone home working. Now, if you imagine, here I am. I mean, okay, it's Sunday, but I've been here at home for the last week. When I'm working, it's on site. So I only actually go to the office maybe five days a year. Now, why that's important is how these types of companies work. They don't need to know where you are. Um, they do for people like me because we actually need to assist on sites. But if you're doing um, right, data manipulation, uh, data analysis, or whatever unique skill you have, you don't need to be sat here. Um, they may want you to come into meetings some, sometimes now and again, but a lot of it can be done on conference calls. And I, I always try and push for a conference call rather than uh, driving for five hours um, because obviously most places are at least two and a half hours each way. Um, so they're used to it. So you don't need to be stupidly low on your pricing because, okay, Filipinos can live on a lot less money, but at the same time, people try to overcharge you on a regular basis. Um, you also have the knowledge and skill set and culture of where these companies are coming from, which makes a big difference. Um, it's hard to explain to somebody that hasn't done it yet, but with having a call center, um, you understand the culture a bit more. Um, because what happens is it rains, people don't turn up for work. Now, in the West, that's seen as absolutely nuts. But in the Philippines, people get fevers. Um, they get diseases and whatever because, you know, A, it's the, the actual rain itself, but B, it washes all the crap out, the gutters and everything else. So the risk of getting an infection is quite high. Um, so that's why a lot of people won't go to work in the rain because turn up for work, they'll be off sick for the next two weeks. So what's the point? Better off having a day off. And once you're used to it, it's fine because I've known people grumble about their staff um, taking time off because it's raining. But at the same time, I say is I understand it because I'm, I've been within the culture. I understand why they do it. It's not laziness. It's because they're worried about disease. And in a country where people die uh, from dysentery and mosquitoes and all sorts, I can understand it. You know, they don't have the resources um, and infrastructure. If they do get sick, they don't have that medical cover. Um, it's all right for us. We can pay our way through it, but they might die. So that's what I'm saying. Don't undercut to a stupid point um, because culturally we, we understand how a business operates. And like I've just explained about the rain, we would know to say that to a person we're dealing with, they say, I can't get the office today because it's raining. But I want to point out the reason rain is so important is because then they understand what you're saying. Um, but you could say, I'm working from home. I haven't got the internet here, but I will upload it first thing in the morning once the rain stops. That's, that is the communication lines that you have. In the Philippines, a lot of stuff is just based on what you they assume you know already. So nobody will actually point it out. It's a, it's a bit like when you when there's a uh, fiesta or something going on or there's a tourist attraction. A lot of them aren't advertised. A lot of people don't tell you they're going on because everybody in the area knows it's already there. But they don't understand that maybe more people want to go to it because it's, if they advertised it, they'd actually get people to go to it that aren't aware of it. See, that, 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 that's, that's a cultural thing. So I would say don't drop your money. Um, the Indians have hammered it down on things like uh, freelancer and stuff, but the quality out of them is absolutely abysmal um, because at the end of the day, 
It's a bit like if you get your car serviced by the guy that does it for in the back back of his house for fifty pence an hour or something stupid compared to um the guy that you've known for the last ten years doing it who's twenty quid an hour. You're gonna expect there to be differences because of the guy that's doing it for fifty P um can't even afford the parts. So um oh, it's not even the parts, the tools. And that's basically freelancer. That's why I don't use them myself because it's it's just been dragged down to such a level. I wouldn't want to touch it. I, uh, I don't. I don't know. I'll take it as far as saying it's almost in slave, slavery with some of the rates that they're putting people put forward on there. I mean, but that's my opinion, by the way. I'm not actually saying they're slaves. <laughs> I make that very clear because uh, my personal opinion is mine uh, and the way I think. I'm not stating a fact, <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say with that, that's giving you an advantage already. You don't need to undercut, but the key to all this is doing your networking now. What skills have you got where you are um, and nip around some of the companies from near where you are and ask them, look, would you use me if I was offshore and I could do it? I know you're paying somebody like, I don't know what the rates are, wherever you are, it says, but I'll be offshore. I can do it for half the price. Um, or you could actually go, well, I'll do it for a third less, but you're already going to be saving on X, Y, Z, or I could do your sales for you offshore, or I could do your bookkeeping, whatever it is. You can, it's up to you to sit there and work out what you're worth. Um, and this is why I say do it now, not when you're sat in the Philippines. It's very, very hard to do in the Philippines because people are disconnected from you. When you do it face to face, they can say yes, no, or, well, can you do this for me? What about this? You know, you know what I'm saying? Because the, you're there, you're more open. But when you talk to somebody on the internet, you don't know them. You're disconnected. Even if you live in the same town for years, you, because it's on an email and the different time zones and stuff, don't communicate in the same way. But you can do pretty well out of being a VA. Um, like I said, and I was doing the websites at $250 a week. Now, bear in mind, that isn't all week. That's about eight hours. So that's $250 a day, um, which isn't bad money, even in the West. But, um, yeah, because it's about $250 a week, eight hours, plus if they need any alterations, which... For me, it's, I don't mind doing it anyway. If I'm sat there, I'm normally doing them, their sites or something else anyway. It's being productive with your time. Don't just sit there with one client and just do what they want. Do what they want, plus search for new clients. Constantly build up your client list because somebody could get sick, somebody could die, companies can close. Either way, you need to keep your client list up. Anyway, thanks for watching.